Alrighty, welcome everybody to Anthem, the open beta. Now I have played a little bit of the closed beta. My friend had got like a little access code for pre-ordering it or something like that. So I do know a little bit about the game and how it plays out. Uh, I actually really enjoyed the movement. I liked the feel of it. I liked how, the, how it played. So I thought I would record a video on the open beta, see what's new, see if they change any of the fix it or uh, any of the bugs, because tr trust me, when the closed beta came out, there was a lot of problems. There's been a lot of uh, skepticism around this game. A lot of there's been some bad reviews. Uh, I I mean, to be fair, it's still pretty early game. It's new, but it definitely it definitely needs to be worked on. So basically, in this video, I'm just gonna give my opinion on how I feel about the game, uh, show off some cool features, and see if there's anything different from the closed beta, from the open beta. Uh, I'm hoping that this game does well. I'm really hoping that it does well. For anyone who doesn't know the game, I'll give a brief summary. Um, if you don't want to listen to this, just skip to this time right now on the screen. Um, and so yeah. So Anthem actually reminds me quite a bit about Destiny. Um, it is a loot based game, so you fight enemies to get better loot, and with that loot you fight even harder enemies to get even better loot, and so on and so forth. Um, it is strictly PvE, so meaning there's no PvP. <laughs> so you play with your friends to fight really hard bosses, and yeah, that's basically the game. It's just a team effort game. There is four different types of characters. Uh, they're called Javelins. There's the Colossus, Storm, Interceptor, and I believe the last, I think it's the Ranger. And that one's more of like the balance. Storm is like a mage type with all different kinds of effects. Colossus is that big, tanky, do a lot of damage guy. And Interceptor is like the, is fast, guerrilla warfare type style kind of character. In this game, there is different modes to uh, this game. There's free play where you can just roam around the map fighting AIs and getting random bosses like there's random events that will occur or you can do a mission which will have a set boss that you have to fight as I said before this is a loot based game and has different rarities you can get different rarities of armor different rarities of weapons different rarities of abilities okay so now I'm gonna talk about how I feel about the game so far the game it has like I said before, I think it has quite a bit of potential. It is a little bit like Destiny, but there is some pretty major differences. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they change all the problems that have been happening on the closed beta. I haven't noticed any login problems right, right now, currently. <laughs> but other than that, um, yeah. I like the, I enjoy the customization. I think the customization is pretty cool. I'll show that later on in the video. Um, what else do I enjoy? I don't know. I like the different characters. I like the four different javelins. I've only played the interceptor so far, um, and like I said, it's it's a fast like guerrilla warfare kind of hit and run tactics kind of character. Um, I, it, it has like these blades that you use to freaking stab people. Anyways, I really enjoy that. That was fun to use. Yeah, the movement. Movement. It's all about that movement. I really enjoy the movement. And the way, okay, so when you run, just boom! That's just, and I don't know. It's just, it seems, it seems very cool to me. I think I'm doing like a tutorial mission.
One thing that I'm hoping for about this game is that there's a lot of content. I really hope that they have a lot of content to play on. Not something like... That's the problem with Destiny. There just wasn't enough content and you had to buy it just to play the game. It's like, I don't know. So I'm really hoping they don't... I, I Supposedly, the DLC is going to be free. Hmm. <laughs> well, shit. What's the combination? Come oh, on, it's gotta be something obvious. I don't see any clues. You're just supposed to fucking guess and check? <laughs> Look, I don't know how he figured it out. Probably looked online, or he found the fucking key. Whatever. Good job. One thing that I did notice is, I mean, obviously I'm low level, but... <laughs> the... The AIs, they... Or the, the enemies that you fight, they take a lot of hits. Like, they take an exceptional amount of damage. I don't know if it's going to be like that always, or... I don't know. We'll see. Oh! It's this fucker. Okay, so this was in the pre... Um, so this boss specifically was in... Okay, <clears throat> so this guy right here, this was in the pre, or I'm sorry, the closed beta. This guy right here, and I remember him being really hard, but I think I'm on, yeah, I'm on normal, so I don't know if it's going to be easier. I don't know, he seems a little easier, probably because I have three other people playing with me, but um, I remember watching my friend and he was having kind of, kind of a hard time trying to take him down. Yeah, this is the final boss. This is what I'm saying, right? So, in co-op mode, you work with your friends, complete through the mission, and then at the final stage, you'll get this giant boss. What the? This bitch just hit me! Are you dead yet? Damn, but this guy's taking so many hits. Anyways. And then you try to defeat the boss, and you get really good loot. That's all you gotta do. Use all your abilities. You can fucking use a shield. Yeah, you can't shoot me, bitch. Just like that. And holy fuck. I'm pretty sure he probably has a weak point somewhere. But I, I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, that guy actually took quite a bit. <laughs> uh, that was only on normal too. I mean, I only had like level... I only had common weapons or whatever. But uh, yeah, I can't imagine on the hardest difficulty. Definitely is going to be a harder game. They're just going to take... They just bullet. They just take the bullets, dude. I don't understand it. Bullets, bullet sponges. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is the currency. Um, so when you do customization and you're trying to buy like that other gear, the stuff that's in the top left corner, the the gold coins, that's the in-game currency. I believe you earn that through missions, playing missions, leveling up, and probably some other things that you can do. And I believe that there's going to be a shop, kind of like similar to like Fortnite, Blackout Shop. Oh, there's like those items that are available. It's going to be similar to that. And But they're all earnable. Everything is earnable. There is microtransactions, but it's all earnable. Okay, so here's one cool feature that I really enjoy about the game. And that is the customization. I love that they have so much that you can customize. You can customize your entire suit. Oh, I'm oh, your javelin. Um, and when you customize, you can obviously you'll have your equipped, and then you can unlock. Now I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have more in the full game to unlock. Hopefully, they better. I really hope they have lots of customization, because that's one thing I do enjoy about games. And one thing about this is that this is what costs the gold coins. So any cosmetics that you want to buy require the gold coins. You see, I have 125. I started with 100, I believe. But I just earned 25 from that mission, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But that's what the coins are for. And you can also, which is this is this is the next part that I really like, is the paint. Cause you, I I don't know what it is about this, but I like how you can customize the textures. You can make different colors. This shit's amazing. I fucking love it. Like look at this. Look at this. Uh, look at this this gold shit that I made. You see. Bef hey, this is completely different from what the, the, the uh, this is completely different from the guy that I had before. Um, but yeah, I like all the textures that you can do. I think.
think this is a really cool feature. And then, of course, you can unlock different patterns. That's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we have for customization. There's a lot of promise here. I'm hoping that they add more animations as well. I hope they have so much armor customization. One thing that I love about games is that it's just the cosmetics. The, the more you can customize, I feel like the better. So here's the map, okay? So you'll have missions and you'll have free play and you'll have strongholds. Free play, I probably would probably, I would probably, probably, probably prefer, probably, but in free play, basically you're not constrained. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to do a mission. And there's all, there's all these events that go on as you travel the map. This is a stronghold, basically a very strong boss is at the end and you team up with other players and you go fight this boss to get good loot. And then the missions of course are like campaign based that you can do with other people. And so I'm probably going to be playing this game mainly with my friends and we've kind of all picked out our own individual javelins. I really want to play the interceptor. Anyways, here's the squad. You can invite players. I can invite my friend if I wanted to. Um, I don't have any friends. So, <laughs> for that, okay. To end this video, I'm just gonna give my overall opinion on this game. I think it's, I think it, I think it could be really good. I think it, it, it has a good foundation to go off of. It definitely has a lot of tweaks that it needs to fix. Um, some mechanics that need changing. The AI is a little weary i don't know there's some things it, it needs work but overall i think it's fun i like i like playing with my friends i like the different javelins the premise is good um i am gonna make a part two to this i'm gonna be just playing with my friends uh, but uh tell me tell me what you think about the game tell me if you hate it tell me if you love it tell me what you think about it i'd love to hear in the comments um, this is kind of a new thing for me. I haven't really talked to you guys, like one one, on one to one. But um, <laughs> if you want to hear, see more videos like this, just let me know. Maybe some playthroughs.